So the new technologies that are coming up and that are being invented today as we speak, including here at the University of Oklahoma for advanced manufacturing, are revolutionizing the way we think about supply chains, the way we think about new materials. Metal 3D printing is one of the most promising new, new process to 3D print metals into final products. We can develop new process and 3D print metals from raw materials, from powders. So the lab has been set up so we can kind of go from idea to finalized product. And so the benefit of that is we can do everything in-house. Um, we can 3D scan everything from an existing part. We can then go and design that in our software. We can model exactly how it's going to be made. We then go to the printing process where we can print everything out of titanium, a TIE 64 alloy, and then stainless steel, a 174 pH alloy. Um, and then from the printing process, we actually go into the heat treatment process. So we can heat treat in-house, we can do annealing, precipitation hardening, all of those types of things. And then we go to an EDM, which is electrical discharge machining, that allows us to actually remove these parts, really hit really fine features, whether it be splines, gears, sprockets, things of that nature. So with this um, advanced manufacturing uh, 3D printing techniques, we're able to build materials one atomic layer at a time, and therefore we can control the properties of these materials and create new materials with new properties that greatly exceed those that existed in the past. This facility is, is largely supported uh, by the Vice VPRP, uh, helps to get this facility up and running so we could house these advanced pieces of equipment we have here. But it's really exciting because there's very few facilities that have that all encompassed in one building. Um, so it allows us to do so much more without having to have outside help and it really speeds up the process of work too. Um, so what would normally take some uh, organizations two or three months, we can do in one to two weeks. So for the student portion, there are two sides to it. One is our student getting trained in these advanced technologies, additive manufacturing. At OU, our focus is not only on technology development, but also on education. That's our bread and butter every day. We want to train the new workforce for the future. And then the other portion is also collaborating with Tinker and OCLC to see how their employees can be involved. And we have actually many of them part of our graduate program. So it's a win-win situation where the transfer of knowledge goes both ways. Looking at OADI, one of the big things that should be said is that none of this would exist without them. Um, OADI has been pretty much an integral player in making sure that all of this happened and succeeded. I actually see that not even as a partnership, it's almost the left hand and the right hand. So I'm proud, I'm honored, and I'm, I'm so happy to be part of this team. And it's exciting to see where OU is moving towards for the future.